Your blog is going to be found in the course content just as your journal was. And you can see here your journal is still in here, but above it is the weather blog. That's the one we're going to be doing right now. You'll notice some differences. The icon is a little bit different. And also the journal has information on the instructions listed here, but the weather blog doesn't. So we know this is a hyperlink because see the highlight there and you can see that light up so you know to click on it and when you do there are your instructions so it didn't not have instructions they just weren't in the same place as the journal and this may vary from instructor to instructor so let's go ahead and take a look you have create your blog entry view your drafts um, you have all of your course members that will eventually be listed over here because a blog is different than a journal. It's going to show all of your classmates because that's how I have this one set up. But again, that will vary from instructor to instructor, but typically a blog is going to include everyone. So let's go ahead and get started on the instructions. It said to identify your town because this has to do with a weather forecast. So some of you may be in a different location than the others, so you want to do that. So we go ahead and and put in some of the information that was asked for just to get our blog going and we don't have to put very much in there because we're not actually completing this assignment for a grade we're just kind of using it for an example so we have the option to cancel it that will take you out of this and you get to start over while save your entry as a draft not as important as it is in a journal entry because in a blog you want your information out there as soon as possible so I'm going to go ahead and post that entry and when I post it you can see posted by my name and when it was posted and there is my information so I can look over here and I can see the different blogs that were over here so that gives us that information now, if we do want to come back to the blog later and we don't want to go all the way through course content, some of your instructors may have a quick link over here on the left for you. And if they do, that's what you do is just click on the blog and you'll find it in the list of the different things. I have a weather blog here and I go and there I can go back and I can add comments to it if I would like to add a comment um, to the information and what's going to happen with that is it tells me there was a comment and you can click on it and see that comment information. You can also go into your My Grades and we'll go over here and we'll see Weather Blog right here. You can see it was submitted and then you can also see that it doesn't have a grade yet. It needs to be graded by the instructor and when it does you'll be able to see that information.